getting help from dorks to find security vulnerabilities. I'm Tanya Hall, and joining me is Avinash Jen, Lead Infrastructure Security Engineer at Grofers. Welcome, Avinash. Hi, Tanya. Thanks a lot for inviting me. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. So what kind of uh, work do you do at Grofers, and, and what kinds of problems are you trying to solve? Yeah, so Grofers is basically an online e-commerce company where we sell grocery items. So uh, being a lead infrastructure security en engineer at Grofers, my day-to-day -day works uh, deals with, uh, you know, bringing various kind of security uh, in, in the company uh, without hampering, uh, like, customer uh, usability or customer future. Uh, we try to bring security within as much as close to developers and QAs rather than being a blocker. We try to be a re reliever for them. And that is how the uh, goes, uh, the days goes for me. Earlier this year, you published an article on how you discovered a data leak in a widely used systems and project management tool. Summarize the situation for us. Yeah, uh, so uh, there's a uh, product which is called Jira, which is an Atlassian product. And Jira is a bug tracking tool basically uh, to use to track bugs. Uh, you can, uh, you know, you can tra track your projects, your uh, tasks and various kinds of things. Um, more than like uh, lakhs of company uses it for uh, uh, tracking their goals, tracking their projects and all those steps. So Jira has uh, several misconfiguration, which, uh, uh, which which I was able to find and I was able to find basically uh, various project details which various big big companies were working upon uh, their staff data which contains their name their email addresses and very kinds of dashboard uh, which they are using this information leak was the result of a very simple misconfiguration error correct yeah exactly so Jira uh, has that misconfiguration just because of uh, kind of uh, English grammar mistake. So uh, it says that if you want to make any filter or if you want to make any dashboard public, it says that you can uh, set the visibility as anyone. While people uh, confuse the word anyone uh, with like someone who's uh, in their company. But the real meaning of anyone is that anyone who is outside the world, anyone on the public internet can view those filters and uh, public dashboards. So that was the misconfiguration on two of the settings. The third setting was the user picker functionality, which basically lists down all the sub data which are working in the company, which has their account in Jira. So that if, if, if that particular functionality is misconfigured, any company can leak their uh, staff data, like uh, their usernames, their, their mail IDs, and kind of their data. What is a dork query? And how did it help you discover this misconfiguration? Yes. So uh, uh, once I found this vulnerability within my company, I proceeded ahead to find uh, in other companies as well. So I wanted to have a quick uh, kind of quick search uh, so that I can list all the companies which are affected by it. So uh, I use Google Doc, which is basically an advanced search query. I just made an, uh, made, I made an advanced search query over Google and I just put that over Google and I was able to list down all the major companies which are affected by this, so namely uh, various acquisition of Yahoo, Google, uh, even NASA was there. And apart from that, uh, there was company which are acquired by Microsoft, there was Informatica, uh, there was uh, like uh, more than 100 companies uh, which are which were in the Fortune 500 companies list. And that's, why, that's how I was able to find them. How prevalent are these types of misconfigurations and what are the implications for users of cloud platforms? Yeah, so uh, this vulnerability was, uh, was not a new one. This vulnerability, this misconfiguration was lying there maybe more than five years. Uh, but the thing is why, uh, so the thing why I was able to find it, because people lack, lack awareness. People were, or maybe Jira team was not uh, like too, uh, too careful towards this misconfiguration. They just let it go and it was lying for like, as I said, and so, uh, so just to escalate it, uh, I, I find this vulnerability in various uh, bigger platforms. As I said, uh, companies were top top 500 companies list. There were companies like uh, Google, Yahoo, NASA as well. Uh, and yeah, uh, so that, that that's the reason uh, why this particular vulnerability uh, was able to take the whole amount of impact. Uh, not just uh, because it was an old vulnerability, but because 
uh, the vulnerability was not fixed for so many years and it was impacting it it is still impacting uh, various big players in the market what advice can you offer to cloud users to check access permission configuration yeah so the the uh, maybe uh, the mitigation is not only from the jira set but the mitigation is also from the client which are using jira uh, the the mitigation that jira should should employ or should deploy is basically they should be uh, clearly saying what the the word animals means or they should make their filters their dashboards private by default it should not be public by default people just configure their filters people just make their dashboard over jira make their uh, project uh, over jira and that, that that are public by default jira should make all those details private by default so that no one no dashboard no filter no user picker functionality can remain there as an uh, as in public access while for the companies it is necessary to review all those filters which have been made by their employees to review all the dashboard which been made by their teammates or by employees of their company and have an a uh, quick review or have an kind of audit over those uh, filters and uh, dashboard regularly as uh, just as i uh, do in my company we uh, we regularly audit uh, such misconfiguration in uh, jira and we basically automated those, those stuff we made an quick script we basically list down all the filters which are public or which by mistake uh, people make public and we just quickly go into jira and make them private so this is how uh, clients can uh, prevent themselves Avinash Jain, Lead Infrastructure Security Engineer at Gropers. If somebody wants to connect with you, Avinash, and maybe they've got some questions about this issue, how can they do that? Uh, people can reach, out, reach to me through Twitter. Uh, my handle is logicbomb underscore one. So uh, if anyone has any query related to Jira or anything related to security, they can just DM me on Twitter. Sounds good. Thanks again for joining us. And if you guys want to find more of my interviews, you can do that right here or go to tanyahall.net. Thanks for watching.